Tesla burnout. Mopar burnout. Yeah, this is very true. Have you guys seen some of the photos and things of all these Teslas catching on fire? Firefighters hate them. They can't even hardly put them out. When I was a kid, we didn't have bottled water. We had a garden hose. Share this video if you remember. No disassemble. Speed checked by radar. That's the only kind we need. For those hard to reach children in the back seat. This was GoFundMe when I was a kid. Yes, it absolutely was. I became a legend in 1985. I can't remember the full story behind this, but I just happened to come across this post. And this was just a photo after he had a pretty good wreck on his bike. When I heard Jake Paul will be taking on Tyson in a match, this is what I thought of. That's actually pretty fitting. This was brought up by one of my viewers in the comments area on a past episode. Who remembers the records that came on cereal boxes? You could actually cut the record out and punch out the center hole and put it on your record player and it would actually play. Chip and Dale were just animated versions of Magnum P.I. and Indiana Jones. I never thought about that before, but that's a fact check true. How many of you guys even remember this cartoon? I think it was very late 80s. I'd say more of you millennials remember this than most of us Gen X. You guys remember when these were really popular? These little perfect balancing pieces. Most of them balance on one single point. This guy on a horse here balances on two points. I actually had one that was a bird and it balanced on its beak. Back then, these were really just considered toys, more or less. But when you think about it, this really was art. Especially compared to most of the so-called art that they have these days. In the 70s, we didn't have YouTube to listen to our favorite song. We had radio stations with real live DJs who took our song request in dedication. And if we were lucky, they'd play it on the radio. I remember a country music station that I used to listen to that had a segment once a week called Make It or Break It. There was specific new songs that they would choose and they'd have people to call in and you could vote make it if you wanted the station to keep the song or you could vote break it and the station would remove it never to play it again of course us being kids we'd call in with different voices multiple times making the same votes meanwhile at AT&T headquarters if you know what movie this is from drop it in the comments Obviously, this is referring to the recent AT&T blackout they just had. If your phone cord could reach four different rooms and outside, your teenage years were awesome. And we had a phone that hung on the wall that had a really long cord. Not only could you reach the kitchen, living room, and dining room, you could walk halfway down the hallway with it too. Tesla Time Machine. Have you guys seen this thing? I come across this just the other day. This is just sad. Here this guy buys an electric car. Then he goes and installs a fuel tank in it. Does a remote hookup for an actual flamethrower. Builds this entire system with jets that comes out the back there. And it literally shoots liquid fuel out the back of the car as he's driving down the road. And it even continues to burn on the pavement for several seconds. Now, if we had a good muscle car, say an old Mustang, and we did this exact same thing, how long do you think it'd be before the cops pull us over and impound the vehicle? Not very long.
I can't remember when it was, but at one point in time I had this exact same stereo. The speaker is locked on to the stereo itself, or you can hold down the little tab and you can slide them up and separate them from the stereo. They had extra wire on the back of the speaker that was wound up, and you could separate them away from the stereo if you had this thing sitting in an entertainment cabinet or whatever. Or you could keep them locked onto the stereo and it was portable. 37 years ago today, Lysen to Ill was the number one album. For some reason, it's just hard to believe that Beastie Boys has been around that long. Now back in the day, this would have been a professional stereo. You used to have a reel-to-reel -reel back some years ago, but instead of one on the top there, it looked a little bit more like the one that's sitting on the floor behind it over here. I think I sold it the last time that we moved. Or was it the time before that? Driving to work on a Monday morning, like... Why do you have to deal with some of these idiots that's on the road these days? This is pretty much true. How many of you guys know what this is and what it is used for? If you think you know, hit a bunch of buttons on your keyboard and put your answers below. I apologize about my voice today, guys. I'm having a really tough time making this video. I'm just really hoarse for some reason. No pun intended. I actually didn't plan to say that on this particular slide, but I guess it worked out pretty good. I told the kids I had trouble with handwriting when I was little. And a five-year-old asked if it was because pens were made of feathers. If you didn't feel old already... This is a 110-year-old ship in my head. This is a 110-year-old ship in reality. That's just kind of messed up. Old school costumes had it looking like a classroom full of cereal ready to go on a purge. It kind of does. That's kind of a creepy photo. Eight-year-old me watching Jason Voorhees bury a meat cleaver into Crispin Glover's face. Here's another, do you remember, what the name of these cars were. If you think you know, smash the correct letters that make up your answer in the comments section below. When people try telling you the 90s were the best decade of the 20th century. The early 90s wasn't too bad, but it doesn't even compare to the 70s or 80s. Some of y'all never had to push your own car, then jump in and pop the clutch, and it shows. Worse yet, there's a lot of people today that doesn't understand why someone would do this. There are three Gen X era car seats headed in this picture. I disagree. There are at least seven in my opinion. You got the two corners at the front of the cab, if the truck has a tailgate, you got the two corners at the rear. Then obviously you have the two wheel wells. You take the tire, move it to the center of the cab there, and somebody can sit on that. That's seven. If you really had to, someone could sit in the center of the bed, but that's the place that nobody wanted. I had to throw this one in here, because this is definitely for some of the millennials. How many people remembers this Claymation TV show? It was on MTV. I think it was on in the late 90s, and it only aired for a few years. But at the time, it was pretty hilarious. 
when they finally get to know you in real life. Who remembers when Bubblegum came with comics? Yeah, I'd always try to collect all the different ones. It's 1987. You've just been dropped off at the mall. What store are you hitting first? Radio Shack. You're a true 90s kid if you ever heard. Get off the internet. I need to use the phone. Most of the time, they never asked. They just picked up the phone and interrupted your download. In the 80s, this was your Saturday morning. You know, somebody came out and said that this was one of the hidden Easter eggs that they had in the movies. It's actually kind of believable. I remember my grandpa had one of these. Do you remember these? My grandfather had skeleton keys that was even older than these. Jolt Cola. The grandfather of all energy drinks. I think the majority of so-called energy drinks these days are garbage. Especially all the Munster products in my opinion. There was one called Bang, B-A-N-G, and it worked pretty good. Until Munster bankrupted the company with lawsuits, and then they got the courts to allow them to buy them out. These days, I'll get a five-hour energy drink is better than just about anything else. How many of you remember the old 110 film cartridges? I remember my mom's camera used this. Name a struggle that today's kids will never know. Being forced to stay indoors. Because that's what they had to do to us. We were always outside. We hated being made to stay in the house. Today's generation hardly even touches the grass. You have to admit, this will be a pretty cool freezer for the garage. If someone offered you $1 million to watch the same movie for 24 hours straight, could you do it? And what movie do you choose? I absolutely could do it. I would force myself to do it. And as far as what movie would you choose, there's a lot of good answers. I'd probably just go with Back to the Future. Like and share this video if you know what this is. I'd say most of the people here on the channel knows exactly what this is. I actually showed a newer model in a past episode. I am not old. Your music just sucks. Fact check true. There is many, many examples of this. Female-led Star Wars show will challenge ideas around the Force, inside the magic. And other news, the higher-ups at Disney are incredibly slow learners and have no concept of their demographic. Oh, they know. But they're still going to continue to force this narrative. Good morning, drivers. Good morning, truckers. Good morning, all you... Uh, let's read something else. The Atomic Fireball. These things were great. This has always been one of my favorite candies. But they stopped making them a few years ago. I didn't even know it. 
I guess it was about a year ago I started looking at the store for them. Usually they'd always come in a big bag, and I couldn't find them anywhere. So I looked it up online and found out they quit making them. You can still find some of the old stock that's left online, but most of it's ridiculously expensive. Now this was a great 90s TV show. How 80s kids became neighborhood legends. Pictures 2000 kids can hear. This is for all you millennials there. Eh? Although the Metro Goldwyn Mayor sure seems to me to go back a lot longer than the 2000s. If you ever tried to solve one of these, this is a reminder that it's time to schedule your colonoscopy. No, not hardly. Choose one actor, and the other actor's movies all disappear. Well, Tom was on a, let's just say a certain list lately, so he's gone. Robert De Niro, Jack Nicholson, and Samuel L. Jackson. Those three are a little harder. But if I only had to pick one, to be completely honest, I think I'll go with Jackson. I will hit you so hard that words describing the impact will appear out of thin air. That's just hilarious when you think about it. If you played in the street and remember yelling, Car, you had an awesome childhood. Gen X, annoyed with all the rest of you. If you had to sum it up, yeah, in general, that's pretty much true. Ewoks are just homeless care bears who lost their powers and got hooked on. You know, when you think about it, this could be true. Interviewer, do you have any sales experience? Me. I act like I'm fine, but deep down, I want season six of Cobra Kai. I wonder if Tyler will finally make it in the cast this time. Some of you guys know who I'm talking about. My life goal was to make it 360 degrees around the top bar. Yeah, that's kind of like how life goals go. Eventually you find out that it's just not possible. You actually can't do a 360 on a swing that has chains. You have to have what they call a rigid swing. Do you remember these? Actually, no, I, I don't remember these. I don't know if I just missed them or if I just can't remember them. We need to bring back movie theaters that look like they've been designed by a five-year-old. Kids movies when I was a child. Kids movies today. Yeah, they might appear to be better these days. But in reality, the messages are far, far worse. This looks like someone who worked for a machine shop and was able to get a lot of free scrap metal and had a lot of extra time on her hands. But you have to admit, it is a pretty nice grill. Who remembers this hot? <coughs> this was child abuse. No, it wasn't. Besides, it was our fault for getting on it. It burned you up going down, and what do we do? turn around and run back up the ladder. If we had a bucket and there was some water nearby, you might pour it down there first. Or even some wet sand or something. 
This was actually a great show back in the day. Too bad he went woke now. How to tell if you were raised old school. Whenever you did something stupid or got hurt, was it A, oh my god, are you okay? Or B, bet you won't do that again, huh? Type A or B in the comments below. How to frighten the new generation. Put them in a room with a rotary phone, an analog watch, and a TV with no remote. Then leave directions on how to use them in cursive. He-Man is the dumbest name in superhero history. Change my mind. When you think about it, you have to kind of wonder who came up with that name. This is the only Mandela effect that I've never read a good explanation for. I know what I saw. I had this in the latest episode of Laugh While the World Burns. And yes, I agree with the last part. And yes, their logo had the cornucopia, or the horn of plenty, whatever you want to call it. But now, they claim that never existed. Although at least one woman went through all of her old clothes from decades and found one t-shirt that actually had that logo. With that said, no, this is not the only Mandela effect that I have not read a good explanation for. There are a good number of them that I know, that I know, that I remember. And yet today, they claim that it was different or that whatever it was never existed. And here's the thing, just taking this example, for instance, I'm not saying that the people who only remember the logo on the right are wrong. Because on all of these Mandela effects, or whatever you want to call them, it always seems that about half the people remember one thing, and the other half of the people remember the other. There's a lot of people that try to claim that this is just mass misremembering. Now, in my opinion, that's a bunch of garbage. If there was a few people that remembered something wrong, that's one thing. But we're talking about millions on each one of these different types of topics that's like this. In any case, I just thought this particular one was fitting for the Gen X series videos. The General Lee. The General We. That's, that's just wrong. There is only one paint job that belongs on a smart car. And it's this. McDonald's called out order 867 and I yelled 5309 and nobody laughed. Then I felt old and ate my burger in the playground area. The gory years when the average child needed the physical acuity and instincts of a Navy SEAL just to survive a regular day at the playground. And the thing is, kids were in a lot better health because they actually got out and did stuff. You know, we actually got out and had fun. Today, all kids ever do is sit in front of a screen. Like I said earlier, they don't even hardly touch grass. There's nothing particularly wrong with being on a computer or even a phone. I mean, obviously I use them, I got a YouTube channel. But just to be on them almost 24-7 and never do anything else is just crazy. Who remembers these chairs? Yeah, we always had multiple of these. We also had the, the long ones, the recliner ones. I can't think of the name that I'm wanting, but it was the long ones where you could put your feet up and then you could have the back setting kind of like this one or you could almost lay it down flat. We always had at least two of those. The lounge chairs, that's the name I'm trying to think of.
Who remembers Captain Kangaroo? Childhood meals. Eat it or go without. Was this true in your house? To some degree, but not always 100%. This is what fifth grade looked like in 1985. The people of Gen Z haven't had to do any of this maintenance, and thus will never understand the pleasure of rolling those little mouse balls around in your hand. Yeah, you could clean these once or twice, but then you'd have to cook a new boiled egg to replace the yolk. This is an inside joke for some of you guys that's been watching the channel for a while now. If I remember right, that goes back to episode 4 of this series. For those of you that haven't seen that, you might want to go back and watch it. I think you get a pretty good kick out of it. Kids today won't know what these are. Remember glass soda bottles with styrofoam labels? Yeah, they always stayed colder a lot longer than what aluminum cans do. Who remembers books with records? Yeah, I had this exact same one, along with a bunch of others. Only difference was I, mine had the 45 records. Is it just me, or has McDonald's gone from a happy child to a depressed middle-aged adult? Like I've said on past video, today they look like a fast food place inside a prison. These were my Stanley Cups. This is true. Back in my day, this meant get your <coughs> home right now. Click on one of the videos above to help support the channel. Please hit that like button and subscribe. I thank you all for watching. This is Acorn, over and out.